Business said the inclusion will gravely affect their finances. They invested their lump sum in bonds in order to live off the coupon payments. Originally, individual bondholders were exempted, but they were subsequently included after labor unions fought for the exemption of pension funds. The revised term of the domestic debt exchange program has angered individual bondholders who have vowed to fight back. Over 250 of them have so far come together to push for their exemption. They argue that the value of their bonds, which is about 8 billion cities, is insignificant compared to the country's total debt of over 400 billion cities and far below 26 billion cities, which is the value of pension funds that have been exempted. Legal practitioner Martin Pegu represents this group. Once we begin to engage government, the line will have to be expended. Uh, thousands of bondholders cannot be railroaded into signing up, no? They don't intend to sign up. We right. intend to negotiate with government and I'm sure something very beneficial will come out of that. The group plans to hold a press conference on Wednesday. Many argue that the government is facing this level of resistance because it failed to adequately engage stakeholders before rolling out the debt exchange program. The continuous postponement of the implementation of the domestic debt exchange program will delay the IMF deal. Finance Minister's end of January projection will definitely be missed.